Me and my daughter have a channel, and, yeah. we, and we do that. What's it called? It's called Daddy and Daughter Plus Water. Oh yeah? I'll, yeah. I'll look it up. Well, yeah. Maybe I'll be on it. There you go. <laughs> Hey everybody and welcome back to Daddy and Daughter Plus Water. I'm at a creek here that I fished before. This is where we found the military dog tags. I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera on, the magnet in the water, see what I can pull up. All right, today I'm using the 1400 pound anti-collision single-sided root magnet. If you guys are looking for a magnet, check out the description below for a code to save 10% off root magnetics. All right guys. First cast. All right, with that cast, looks like we've got something. All right. So I'm not sure if you guys know what this is, because I don't. I was pulling these up last time I was here. See if we got anything with that cast. Yeah, it looks like we got something. All right, so we got a washer. And more bits of whatever this is. All right, feels like I'm latched onto something again. This is, I can feel my magnet come off it. It's definitely right here. We might have to get out the uh, big boy, the 3,600-pounder. Did get something with that. Look at that. A railroad spike. Now, I know a lot of guys are catching these all over, but... I haven't caught one and I don't see a railroad track anywhere around here. So, hey, I'm proud of that one. All right, guys, we've got the 3,600 pound root magnetic double-sided magnet. Do have something on it. More of that metal and some magnetic rocks and part of a swivel. Looks like we got something on that one. Piece of a metal plate of some sort. Hey right, guys, looks like we may have something on with this cast. That is. Yeah, I watched a few videos like this on YouTube. Yeah, we have a, me and my daughter have a channel and, yeah. we, and we do that. What's it called? It's called Daddy and Daughter Plus Water. Oh yeah? I'll, yeah. I'll look it up. Well, yeah. Maybe I'll be on it. There you go. <laughs> Catch some good stuff. Not here, not today, but I other places I, f I found a couple guns. Yeah, um, shopping carts, motor, a motorcycle frame. You go a little bit faster than that. You just don't wanna pull too fast. And then sometimes you can feel it, it'll stick to something. You tell me if you think you get something. Let's see if you got anything. 
Oh, uh, there's something on there. There's the hago. I can see something sticking off it. All right, let's see what it is. Oh, it's part of a lure. It's part of a fishing lure. Okay. Feel how heavy it is. Pick that up. Oish. <laughs> it's heavy, isn't it? Yeah. What is it? Oh, I don't know what that is. We could just throw those right in that bucket. I've been catching those all day. We well, found a. Oh, oh, it's a. You know what it is? It's a weight. It's oh. called a bullet weight. It looks like a bullet though, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That's a good find. You want to keep it? All right, guys. Not much luck here. Um, it was cool uh, showing those kids how to fish. I'm going to head to another spot. We'll get packed up. I'll see you there. So I got out of work early today. That's the reason why I'm up in this area that I haven't fished before. It's up in Jacksonville. Decided to bring my magnets just in case I got out early. It looks like we have red tie. Then you pull it up. You got I got a lock. I love it. And you know what? You're cleaning up the damn walkway. Absolutely. Um, one day I got uh, two uh, leaking acetylene tanks out. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. So that's a first for me. I've never found a lock before, so that's good. All right, guys. This spot's paid off so far. I found a lock. Let's talk to that guy. Said he just bought a GoPro off someone in a parking lot. A hero plus. Screw. You know that cast. That little piece of metal. So down in the description, there's a uh, link to a playlist where me and some uh, fellow magnet fishers put some of our better videos, our newer videos. Go ahead and check it out. Make sure you check out their pages, subscribe. All right guys, we actually have something right down here that my magnet keeps sticking to. But just before I get it close to the surface, it falls off. All right, so that's what it was. It's cement with rebar in it. All right, looks like we got something with that. Let's see. More bread ties. And I think it might be a knife, I don't know. Well, it looks like a knife anyway. We'll get it cleaned off and maybe we can figure out what it is. All right, guys. Don't know how much sunlight we have left, but we're gonna just stay here until it gets dark. This is actually a really nice neighborhood. Already had a couple people stop by and ask what I was doing. That one, we got something. Something long and metal.
Not quite sure what that is. More bread ties. Again, I assume it's from people feeding the ducks, maybe. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. All in all, not a bad day. Didn't find any huge finds. I did find some firsts for me. I found that railroad spike, which was nowhere near any sort of railroad tracks. I also found a lock at this last location. You just never know. Yeah, I mean, some spots look good. There's nothing there. Tomorrow I'm heading out, hoping to hit some of the back creeks down in St. Augustine, closer to home. And remember, where there's water, there's daddy and daughter.